The mystery has been solved. Thanks to you, our viewers, we now know what those strange orange lights were in the sky over North Canton last weekend. We've been flooded with emails and calls since our story aired last night. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live outside with this update. So, Deb, were they fireworks? No, they weren't fireworks. And they weren't airplanes either. As you said, we were flooded with calls and email from viewers who said not only were these lights seen over the skies of Northeast Ohio, some folks saw them as far away as Michigan. The mysterious flying objects looked like this. Joanne and John D'Amico captured these images floating over their home in North Canton last weekend. I don't know. It's puzzling. News Channel 5 viewers solved the puzzle. What the D'Amico saw were sky lanterns, like this one launched for us at the Sandusky Fireworks Superstore tonight. It goes up so you can't see it any longer. Unbelievable. These paper sky lanterns, which originated in Asia, have been around for a long time. But at this store, sales have skyrocketed since they appeared in the movie Hangover 2. Probably two or three hundred percent over last year. They basically work like a uh, small hot air balloon. There's a, uh, a cardboard fuel pack um, that's soaked in some sort of fuel. Just let it right, at the, right down here. You ignite the fuel pack and uh, you know, let it in your hand for a few seconds and you let it go and it goes for a long, a long distance. The D'Amico's say they're glad there's a plausible explanation for the orange globes that floated over their house. It wasn't the first time they'd seen them. I, I can see where they make think it's something definitely odd. They're probably not used to seeing something that large in the sky that's, that's colored like that. It's just kind of floating around. So, yeah, I can see where there's some concern as far as that goes. Now, this is what one of those sky lanterns looks like when it's on the package right after you buy it in the store. This is what had all of us here at News Channel 5 scratching our heads last night after the show. And again, thanks to all of you who uh, let us know what these were and helped us solve this mystery. Live downtown, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.